Hey, do Blizzard get it? They're starting to more than before, for sure. Oh my god, they have a little animated video. But no, I want to talk about Blizzard getting it on the community front. Uh, because, so there's the Hurricane trailer yeah. that uh, we just watched together, right? On top of that, we have uh, Platinum doing lore videos. And mm. what I thought was yeah, interesting... The troll Drakari one went up? Yep, and here's what I thought was interesting about that. Mm. You see, back when we worked with Blizzard on the, like, WoW Starter Guide series... Yeah, like 30, in a way, thousand years ago? Yeah, it was, like, back in BFA. Yeah, you were, like, you were six years old? Stuff was, you know, in a way, like, all squeaky clean. And mm. obviously, I, I doubt he's going to be swearing and stuff in these videos, but it feels like a Platinum video. And, and that's yeah. what I thought was neat. Like, that Hurricane video does not feel like a Blizzard trailer. No, they did. It's clear that if Blizzard had any editorial oversight, they were extremely limited in how much they used it, or they were basically just going, "Oh yeah, that seems cool." Do they're not? They're not hiring someone and going, "Hey, we really like what you do. Now do what you do what you do, but," and then hands over a list of things you're not allowed to do. It's. I mean, they likely do literally, but that list isn't forty miles long. It's going to be, "Hey, you know, be, <laughs> don't do anything." completely mental yeah stay within what you usually do be creative if you want you know give us a give us fire us a draft of the of the, the, the the script whatever the whatever whatever way you, you write it fire us over that and then fire us over a couple you know every like month or so fire us over whatever you're working on or every depends on the time scale of the project yeah and they go every time some whoever's doing it's going oh shit that looks sick keep it lit. oh hell yeah and then by the end of that's like hey how's the how's the project going they're like Almost done. We're like, sweet, excellent, work away. Just yeah. that kind of relationship. So it's like, this is a, you know, made with WoW Model Viewer and, uh, you know, After Effects. Third party tools. Ah! <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of funny. But like, yeah, this this is a Platinum video, mm. right? They're happy to have that be a Platinum video. Mm. If I was to go to uh, the great push. Oh, I can't edit stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. Oh, those. There we go. We have an It's Always Sunny meme on a World of Warcraft uh, thing. But I wanted to go for is this. This is, of course, the excellent trailer for uh, The Great Push, which is focusing in on the, uh, of course, the dungeons of season yeah. four of Shadowlands, mm -hmm. done by IK Edit. And like, he really effectively captures the gameplay fantasy of this stuff. And again, yeah. this does not feel like an official Blizzard trailer. This feels like IK Edit's work. Well, that's because it's not, right? Ex yeah, exactly. It's like, it's an IK Edit video. It's just World of Warcraft paid for it, put it on the channel. Yeah, and it's just really neat that Blizzard are actually happy to do this stuff outsourced directly to the community. You know, that is yeah. a level of, of community engagement and actually, you know, meeting players where they're at that, like, if we weren't all so burnt on the game design decisions of BFA and Shadowlands, we would be significantly more like excited about this kind of thing going yeah. on, but it's just worth highlighting like Blizzard is green lighting and evidently funding really fucking cool projects like this. That is, And I hope that these guys are being paid a fair yeah. industry rate for a experienced VFX artist. Yeah, that's that's the only thing that we that's don't actually know and we need to be careful of because if we just turn around and be like, hey, this is absolutely wonderful. Blizzard, you're doing a great job. And it turns out they're like, they're kind of going, hey, we can give you, you know, basi basically, I think if, if these people would have made more money by putting it in their own channels and getting ad revenue or throwing a sponsor on, I think that'd be a problem. I mean, I hope but this like, is at least four digits. Yeah, it would need to be... Well, well let's put it this way. for a good, good, good few for, grand. Like. For, for Hurricanes, I think it would need to be more than four digits, given the amount of time horizon. Yeah, like, That'd probably need to be at least five, like... Yeah, uh, like, th this is... I mean, with Hurricane, like... If Hurricane could be earning, let's just use USD, yeah, like eighty to a hundred k USD. Mm -hmm. Blizzard's asking for multiple months of that individual's time. If you know, if that's what the time frame of a really in depth project like that's going to be, mm -hmm. like, I really hope Liz is coughing up, and it's not just a, you know, a passion thing. Because I think what these trailers show, uh, and like the platinum videos as well, like this is super high quality content. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's real awesome stuff. So basically, it's just hats off. Hats um, off, yeah. And it is good to see Blizzard uh, engaging, I think, very authentically. Yeah, it's like uh, there's Stradley saying, you know, did the WoW team kick out the activation suits? Feels like they don't have as much power at the moment. 
I don't know if that's true, but it's certainly I could certainly understand if there was a report that you know some someone with insider like knowledge comes out and goes, hey, so you know, internally from Blizzard we've heard that the Activision suits or whatever you want to you know the the people from there aren't as much control. Micah Barr has very much turned around and said, this is my organization, let me run it the way I want to. And then, you know, trust them on that. And then that's actually, like, trickled down to the power that, you know, um, Holly... Is it Longdale? Is it Long... It's just Longdale, right? Yeah, uh, and John Hyde have all this kind of influence going, yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to hire someone for community management who's, like, super on the money. We're going to have enough money to make sure they don't get, like, just poached by Riot or someone. We'll hire someone who like loves Blizzard games and they really know it, and then they'll do the stuff for us. Not in the they'll do it for us in that way, but like the they'll lead the organization to actually start to do these things that people really yeah. want to see. So that is like assuming people are getting paid enough, then hell yeah, this is just literally literally that's big vibes of oh yeah, they're better. Way better. Yeah. Fucking big tier for that. 